Okay, hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm actually going to show just a very simple um, little overview on actually using presets in Adobe Lightroom. So it's a common question that I've gotten online as far as my editing process or my workflow with using Adobe Lightroom. And using presets is a very easy way to actually um, con not allow yourself to spend so much time in post-processing and editing your photos to where you can actually enjoy a little bit and it actually makes the, the post-production process of your, your images uh, a lot sweeter than if you're having to go through individually one by one for each photo. So what I'm actually going to do is open up a, um, Adobe Lightroom as I have here. What I have here is one of my photos from New York City in the financial district of the Fulton Center Transit Hub. And as you can see here over on the left, this is where my, my presets are listed. And as you can see, I have one that's, that's highlighted here, and that's because that's the one that's actually active right now for this particular photo. So what I'm actually going to do is show you what that looks like without the preset. So this is, this is the actual photo once it actually came out of Photomatix Pro with doing the HDR merging uh, for this particular image, which is three different exposures. So what I generally do is I have all of these presets here. And as you can see, I have presets. I have five presets, which are specifically for Fulton Center because I photographed this um, quite a bit now. And so I just have various presets that I've used that I really like. And I always, I want to use, um, kind of keep the same theme or same type of style to my photos. And this really helps in allowing me to do that. So what I'm going to do is kind of go through and show you what some of the presets actually do. So this is one that I used um, one of the first times that I actually photographed the Transit Hub. Um, let's see, this is another that I really like. This one's actually really cool. We, I, we might actually use this one instead of the original that I just had. Um, because it's a really cool looking um, edit for this particular photo, which I actually never tried until this video. What I'm actually going to do, we're going to go back and we're going to select that preset. And so as you can see, what it does is it changes all of my settings here over on the right. And it uses, it saves everything that I have selected previously. And it puts it back to whatever image that I have selected once I click on that preset. One of the great things about that is that it actually can even save the graduated filters that you may add to your photo, which I thought is a very cool um, thing to do uh, or to have as an option for what you save in your presets. And it saves all of this, this um, content. And it even saves like ca camera calibration, your, your vignettes, um, that even the, the lens profiles for um, correcting any kind of distortions that you have for your photos. Um, it, you can save your sharpening, noise reduction, all of that good stuff. So say if I had just edited this, this photo and I have all these settings, and I'm like, hmm, I have another photo that's uh, from a different angle, but it's still the same location. I don't want to go through editing all of these options, choosing everything individually again. I don't want to do that. So what do I do in order to do that? So if you come up here to the top, on the top left of your screen, click on your develop option, and then you want to click on new preset. And so what it brings up is this dialog where you can name your preset. So since this is Fulton Center, what I also do is name it after the camera model because it helps in knowing what camera I used or what that effect is going to do based on the actual camera model. because. Um, I, I program my cameras the exact same, but sometimes the, the color renditions are still going to be slightly different um, compared for the different cameras that you're using. So that's how come I generally start off with the camera name. So I'm going to put Fulton Center. And we're going to make this number six. And I also like to put what file format I was editing. So if it's a uh, TIFF file format as this is, I'll put TIFF. Or if it's a RAW, I'll put a RAW file format. So, and then you can choose what folder you save it in. So I have plenty of here, and I'm just going to save it in my Visco Custom. So you can see the settings of all that you can save. And here's where I was mentioning as far as the graduated filters, where you can even save those. Um, there are many options that you can save. 
And so when I actually do the, the filters, if I did do filters on this particular photo, I still don't generally um, choose this option. I like to still do that per um, image that I'm editing. Um, but everything else, I like to have that set. So that way, the next following image that may be from the same set, or it could be a totally different image, but I just may like the look that it has for that particular photo. So once I have that, I'll go to create. And so then once, once I go to, say, another photo, let's see, let's go to another photo um, that I have here. Let's say I pulled, uh, this is another photo from Bolton Center. So let's say I were to uh, reset this photo and let's use our new preset that we just selected, our Bolton Center number six. So you see what it actually does to the photo. So I've just saved time of not having to go through the process of editing this picture with all of these settings and taking up time and have just saved myself so much time. So that's just a really quick tutorial on how to actually use presets in Adobe Lightroom. The same thing applies as if you have Adobe Lightroom 6. Um, nothing has really changed between um, the presets of how you actually use that in Lightroom 5 and 6. Um, and it's a great way to actually increase your uh, workflow as far as the time that you actually spend in post-processing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial and be sure to look for more to come.